Hello and welcome to a special live stream celebrating Morton Canaan's tome, tome of foes. <laughs> Always the, the big discussion. Uh, Morton Kanan's uh, Tome of Foes releases May 29th with a limited alternative cover hitting at game stores a little earlier on May 18th, in which you'll discover the truth about the great conflicts of the D&D multiverse. To help showcase these conflicts and uh, really to preview more of the book and because we might be currently interested in bracket tournaments, uh, here uh, in the U.S. for reasons we can't legally uh, mention. We're excited to present Morning Canaan's Mayhem. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. We have two willing and uh, ready contestants uh, who will be each taking on the role of one of our monsters from Morning Canaan's this week. <laughs> Uh, winner moves on to the next stage of the bracket, and <laughs> excuse me, and our uh, talented dungeon master who will be running the event, Chris Lindsay. But first, let's meet our competitors. Emmy Tanji will be playing the role of the demon Sibriex. Yeah, I'm a stank lord. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so Emmy, uh, what's your role here at Wizards of the Coast? Who are you playing? The team name, although uh, it's stank lords I hear is. Uh, <laughs> it's a fan favorite. It is. Um, I'm, I'm graphic designer slash art director for Dungeons and Dragons, and I am here to play Sibriex and. My team is the Stank Lords. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to cheer for them, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, we got that. <laughs> we talked about that this morning. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Thank you, Pelham. <laughs> and Adam Lee playing the role of the Devil Moloch. Your role here at Wizards of the Coast. And if you have a team name for Moloch. Uh, yeah, I'm a... Uh, Story designer, game designer guy. I write uh, world build and write adventures and create creatures and monsters and all that good stuff. And uh, I'm playing Moloch, the arch devil, and uh, and also uh, was on the players the very first players handbook cover. Ooh. Little known fact. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, <laughs> my team name. I had a good team name, and it was uh, I forget what it was. Yeah, but it had something um, to do with belching noxious fumes, which Moloch does very well. We had Moloch's small problems, too. Yeah. There's a few. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the pop and Moloch's. Yeah. yeah. The pop. The pop, rock so, and pop and Moloch. Yeah, so folks uh, watching in the uh, the comments, please feel free to donate a team name to Adam Lee's uh, yes. Moloch. Yes, Moloch. Oh. We'd be glad Need the to team. pass yeah. along suggestions. <laughs> And our referee, our game master, dungeon master for today, Chris Lindsay. Yep. Hello. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, a lot of you know who I am, but uh, just to recap, I'm the product manager for Dungeons and Dragons and the head dungeon master for the D&D Adventures League. Uh, I'm also in charge of the uh, uh, Dungeon Masters Guild as well online. And today, I am the referee between these two heinous, hideous, and horrible creatures. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Mordenkainen's Dome of Foes. <laughs> <laughs> Today's fight, the Blood War Bout. In this corner, we have Moloch, the thrice exiled. You've seen him featured prominently in many a dungeon lair. He's a seeker of redemption who's fighting his way across the plains and into through and past your hearts. <laughs> in the other corner of the stadium, we have the Sibriax of vile, pustule-ridden fiend from the lower layers of the abyss. She's never overseen her own lair, but the demon lord Julie Blexis has at least one eye on her here in the stands today. <laughs> <laughs> so, we want a nice, dirty fight. Uh, we'll go ahead and begin this with... Roll initiative! Woohoo! Woo Are you gonna go in here? Yep. Yes, so let's roll initiative in the dice tray so our dice cam, our, our Modron dice cam, can, uh, can pick that up. Nice! Okay, <laughs> CBX goes first. Ooh! 12. 12. <laughs> <laughs> Moloch. <laughs> no. What's your bonus? Equally matched. What's your bonus? 
Oh, oh look at your dexterity modifiers. Oh no! Oh, so Don't 16. look at them. I have minus four, so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you are slow and bloated. No, oh. I'm patient and stinky. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> patient and stinky. <laughs> so Moloch, you will go first. You guys are at the opposite ends of a vast stadium. There's a couple of football fields of terrain between the two of you. What are you going to do? Moloch is gonna... He is going to fly like a majestic bird of prey. Nice. <laughs> um, which he can do as this innate <laughs> spellcasting ability and his massive charisma uh, <laughs> gives him a DC 21 to fly and he will do that. Okay, what is your fly speed? The flying speed, uh, let's see. It is uh, 60 feet. 60 feet. So you, Moloch, Nothing. takes off across the, the field, uh, wings outspread, um, uh, far more mobile than the clearly chained Cibriax. <laughs> I don't need to move. And as, as he approaches, or as he approaches closer anyways, what is the Cibriax doing? So is he within 150 feet? Not yet, Dang but it. he's approaching. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I want him to become a little fast. bit. Oh Whoa. my gosh, he's so far away. What can I do? Um, let's see. So, surrounding Cibriex also, by the way, are a dozen of these wretcheds yes. that, uh, that serve the Cibriex. Tasty yes, treats from the Moloch. Most perfect little babes. I'm going to flesh warp my wretcheds and send them to Go meat. for it. Okay. A D100, though. Roll a D100. So grab two 10-sided dice. Yes, sir. Yeah. Declare one as 10s and one as 1s. 10s. 90. 1s. 4. 94. Ooh. That makes my beautiful babies. The target's body becomes unusual. Oh, no. Unusually brittle, causing the target to have vulnerable. Ability to oh, traits. Chaos of the abyss does oh, not serve you well. You deep fried the uh, charge as you as you unleash the Small the mantras. wretches, <laughs> and they come bounding across the field with their little bulbous legs, and you can kind of hear them crackling as they're moving along. <laughs> it's like you just put them in panko and. <laughs> they're supposed to be stronger. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's true. Oh. So, um, you will continue to fly towards her as the uh, as the wretcheds ap approach you. Um, <laughs> are you going to move behind your wretcheds, or are you going to stay back? Um, I'm I'm moving to the side of them because the wretcheds are you know distracting Moloch. Moloch can only concentrate on one thing at a yes, time. Yes, they hear they the Moloch are delicious. It's they, like they it's look like so good. It's like fried chicken. So Moloch, the wretcheds approach as they come towards you. Um, uh, what's the what's the wretched speed? The wretched speed is forty feet. Forty feet. So you're going to have the jump on the wretched as they right. come moving towards you. What would you like to do? <laughs> flame strike. You want to eat them? Flame yeah. strike. Oh. Got to flame strike them. Crisp and up. Pop them up first. Yeah. Yes, popcorn wretcheds. Yes. Oh, they're so <laughs> cute. They're so cute. <laughs> like chicken nuggets on legs, guys. Like <laughs> <laughs> they're my favorite monster. <laughs> Flame strike. So here it comes. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I imagine they move kind of like that. The little butts. <laughs> So uh, here, the big vertical column of fire is roaring down, and uh, each creature in a 10-foot radius or a uh, 40-foot high cylinder centered on one point at the center, wretched. Oh. Okay, so, uh, Emmy, what I want you to do is yes. I want you to roll oh, no. uh, 1d10. Yes. Good. Oh. Roll it. Nine, Nine of your wretcheds will be caught in the flame oh. strike as they go rushing in uh, oh. towards Moloch. And you need to make a saving throws for your wretcheds. What is the oh. DC for the wretched saving throws, Adam? Uh, the dex, make a dex saving throw and the DC, uh, let's see, spell save DC 21. Yeah, oh. would that be correct? <laughs> oh, 14. What? Okay, that's one. That's one. Give me another one. 14. Oh! 18. That's two. <laughs> you should roll some damage while she's running this. Uh, let's see, 43. 13. <laughs> Four. One. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Nine, 20. 20. That was close. That was very close. Three. Oh, 21. Ooh, one survives. So one, no, one makes the saving throw and takes half damage. Oh, What's no. the next one do? Oh, no. Five. And okay, <laughs> so roll your damage. Uh, so Flame Strike does 46 fire damage and 46 radiant damage on a failed save. Okay, oh so just roll that right here in our dice can. Uh, boom! And uh, okay, 14. And roll it again. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> this is for extra crispy. <laughs> And uh, 10, 12. 12, so that's 26 points of damage. How many hit points does a Wretched have? 10. 10, okay, so even the one that dodges half of the way, <laughs> I'm going to it. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> and a side of spicy mustard sauce appears adjacent <laughs> to the Wretched's. That's this one. <laughs> the last three oh, delish. will leap at Moloch. Go ahead and attack for your Wretched's. Will. All right, can I do something special? Oh, can. <laughs> There's not a whole lot to them. Three little brittle chicken nuggets. Oh, uh, no. no! One will miss. What well, about the second one? Well, I get to do Don't forget that these three have pack tactics, so they each have advantage on their, on their, on their attacks. Oh, okay, so... Yeah, so roll two D20s. Okay. Take the higher of the two. The first one misses altogether. Roll totally the second altogether. one. Oh, oh my god, that was a 19 for a moment. <laughs> for a moment. A moment. And then more like a no. <laughs> the last one. Oh. And there you oh. have it. Three misses as they hop around Moloch <laughs> like little yappy dogs. But um, he's distracted. <laughs> Moloch, what are you going to do next? You have a whole pile of, uh, of crispy... All right. Crispy, wretched nuggets. And how far away is my uh, my nemesis? Your cigarettes? nemesis is at least 100 feet away. 100 feet away. Well. Um, with my many-tailed whip. Let's see. Oh, what's the reach is 30 feet, so... Um, 30 feet? Yeah. Good so, lord. <laughs> with a whip? Um, That's an obnoxiously yeah. long 30 whip. Foot, <laughs> 30 foot whip. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gobble up a... F I cannot resist yes. gobbling up a few of these uh, little He's, Go for it. He's um, um, so the ones that are trying to attack me, I'm going to do... Uh, Moloch has uh, three attacks with uh, a round. Okay. He's going to do a bite and a claw and a many-tailed whip. Go for it. All right, so here comes the many-tailed whip. Don't forget to roll this in our, in our dice cam. Yeah. Here comes the many-tailed whip, which plus 15 to hit. Oh, May God. I add? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh. Uh, that's like 34,000. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, my, my math. Uh, 32, is that? Yeah. yeah. All right. I feel like that, that hits a wretched, yes? Yeah. Ah. Grazes it <laughs> yeah, slightly. It's true. The many-tailed whip uh, does two uh, d four plus eight slashing damage. Go ahead and use the average damage on the. Uh, uh, okay, so it's going to do thirteen points of damage plus eleven points of lightning damage. Is that the, the whip? The whip is made. So of you lightning. whip the one, and 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 it comes right back into your mouth. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. oh <laughs> it has, if the target is a creature, it must succeed on a DC 24 strength saving throw or be pulled up to 30 feet in a straight line toward Moloch. Yeah. Oh, no. The mouth. Right in the mouth. It's not yep. enough dice to save. Moloch's well, like, been practicing like, that for like a thousand years. Like <laughs> roping mini steers. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> here, here comes the claw on the other Sibriex. Plus 15 to hit. Okay. Oh, uh, that's 17. 17 will hit. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And that does 17 points of slashing damage. Yeah, like popcorn shrimp in the mouth. Back in the mouth. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, sushi chef. Just whoosh, and they go boop, 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 boop. Uh, Then the last oh. one is a, uh, my uh, bite. This is the worst of them all. Is it? Oh, oh yeah. it is the worst of them all. Does, is one spare? Well, one is always one a miss. Is yes, uh, unfortunately. Is. You try to bite the last one, and uh, it gives you a nasty nip on your nose. Oh, uh, go, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> it is the, yeah, the, the final remaining, <laughs> remaining wretched, yes. yes. Um, and now, uh, 
The Super X, what are you doing? He's close enough where I'm going to feeble mind him. Okay, Whoa. go for it. Phew. So let's see. You're within 150 feet, and I can blast the mind of this creature. Oh. And you take 4d6 psychic damage what? and must make an intelligence saving throw. Well, Moloch is Ivy Leaguer. <laughs> um, he's got an int of 21. Oh my. So, so what is your what is your bonus on the int saving throw? Plus five. Uh, go for it. Here we go. Uh, eleven. Eleven. Uh, I'm just going to chime head? in from the sidelines to let folks know. Watching, we did streamline and adjust things slightly for the statistics. Uh, there are no legendary actions in play. Moloch normally would have legendary resistance, but it was removed uh, for this contest Moloch, as well. <laughs> <laughs> so you rolled at 11 total? Yep. Uh, okay, so 11 total. What is the DC for your, for your spell? What Don't look. It wouldn't be on the card. It wouldn't be on the card. Um, do you have a DC for one of your abilities? Oh. What, what's the DC for your grafting ability or your... Which one is that? Your warp creature's ability. Oh, my warp oh. creature's 20. Oh. 20. So but Moloch gets a, he gets advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical Okay, effects. so make one more roll. One more roll here. That's oh, more like it. it. Uh, 18. 18 is not 20. It's still oh, 20. Curses. So you go ahead and roll 4d6 damage against I do. Moloch. And I get to do oh. other things. Can I borrow that? That's mine. Oh. This is what you get for attacking my babies. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen not damage. Bad. Uh, Fifteen. Psychic but damage. on a failed save, the creature's intelligence and charisma scores become one. Woo. <laughs> you cannot cast spells, activate magic items, understand language, or communicate in any intelligible way. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all go, Moloch, go. All you know is you have pure hatred. Well, with a big slimy ball of chains. Moloch wakes up with that every morning. <laughs> <laughs> so that was what, 15 points? That was 15 points. Oh my goodness. Okay, 15 points yeah. of psychic damage. Yeah. Moloch yeah. is, he's dealt with that psychic damage stuff before. Well, you, you don't know. Your intelligence is one, your charisma is one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Moloch will then uh, rush at his foe. Go for that it. That got his attention. Wow. Um, <laughs> I'm not able to cast any spells, you right? Can. Correct. So all these are done. <laughs> Don't have to look at that. Um, so at the beginning of Moloch's turn, um, let's see, uh, he regains 20 hit points. Oh. Okay, so he's to hit point 20 hit points back. So he's back to better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got he regenerated. Do I get that? <laughs> I don't think I do. Do you have regeneration? <laughs> no. Oh, wah wah. Oh, I got a chain. Moloch's going to rush uh, as fast as he can. He is going to get no. close distance till he gets within 30 feet. Go for it. Because then he can use his whip. So his speed is 30, but if he dashes, then uh, then he does not that what? Uh, he goes 90 feet or? If you dash, you would go, your your foot speed is 30 feet? Yeah. If you dash, you would go 60 feet. 60 feet. All right, so I'm going to close 60 feet. Okay, oh. so you dash. So you move, and then you dash as an action. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there you are as you're charging madly towards the Sibriac. Sibriac, what are you going to do as he's charging at you? He's not. Okay, so he's oh, within God 30 feet of me? Yeah. What? Is he within 30 feet of me? He is he 60 there? feet. He's, he's within 40 way, feet right? of you. Okay. If you want to float 10, 10 feet his direction, he could be within 30 feet of you. I am going <laughs> to hover 10 feet in his direction. And by the way, did you know if you're within 30 feet, there's corruption under me. Oh. And it's difficult terrain. And when you start, in that aura of 30 feet of nastiness, you're going to have to succeed on a DC 20 constitution saving throw. Oh, or you take 14 poison damage. Oh, more like steps in his goons. Like, oh, oh, these, oh are, no. these are new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what, I've got to make a, a saving throw. You have to make a constitution saving constitution. throw. If you okay. look underneath where your stats are, it says saving throws and it has some special numbers there for you. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So let's see. I've got magic resistance. No, it says saving throws. Oh, saving throws. Oh, there. Oh, you do? Um, do Dex con plus 13. Dang it. Oh, my goodness. Oh. And then I also get uh, advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. Oh, maybe. 
Damn, <laughs> so six plus thirteen is nineteen. Nineteen. What's it's a not DC? twenty. Oh, not twenty. Not twenty. Oh, Mola. So what happens? Take fourteen poison damage. You are immune to poison, Mola. To poison. So that does no damage to you. What ah. about just? 14 damage. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> well, you can't you, just change the type gooey. of your damage. You're I mean, super fight. gooey. Molek touches just, his feet. Like, this is how uh, dungeon masters <laughs> cheat, by the way, players. Changing damage types <laughs> mid fight when they find out that you're immune to something. <laughs> well, you're super gooey. But not today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's like a giant gummy bear. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, so you do the thing, and uh, and Moloch approaches. Moloch, do your worst. All right. It is a whip, and then I'm going to pull you towards my claws and my fangs. Oh, no. Whip it good. Here comes the whip. Help you miss. Uh, 25. Or 26. Does 26 hit the Cibriax? It does. Oh. I've only got natural pussy gooey armor. So you hit the Cibriax <laughs> with the whip yep. uh, and yank it Aww. back towards you. Yep. Uh, how much damage does your whip do again on average? So it does uh, 24 if you add the slashing and lightning damage. So uh, do you, are you at all immune to, sla to lightning damage? I am. Oh, I am immune to lightning damage. Okay, so you only take 13 And then. slashing. And slashing. And slashing. Well, oh. slashing from what? Non-magical attacks. Oh. Okay, Moloch, is your weapon considered magical? It is considered yes. magical. It's 30 feet of magic. Okay, so you're going to take the 13 <laughs> points of damage from Moloch's attack. Okay. And he jerks you towards him. As you jerk, or, jerk the Cibriax towards you, she has to there's, make a there's a big, like, gout of pus <gasps> and oh. spit just oh. all over Grossness. Moloch. Grossness. And then what? Yeah, she has to make a DC 24 strength saving throw. Oh, to throw a heavens. Oh, plus 12. Um, I get nothing. Strength. What's your bonus? So use nothing. your strength. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a plus zero. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. Yeah, um, you are getting hauled uh, over. So I have great charisma. Big yeah, yeah, I have yeah, great charisma. Yeah. Don't do it, Adam. <laughs> like, like, You've been crazy. <laughs> like picking demonic berries. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls you right towards him. Moloch is yeah. like a little bit like, ooh, hey, Cibrix has a gun. Yeah. like claw bite. Just can't resist the Sabrina. I almost couldn't resist your charismatic. Uh, <laughs> so here comes my claw. Oh no. Oh, it's a 20. That's a crit. That's a crit. So for crits, go ahead and roll the damage. How much damage, uh, how many oh, damage no. dice do you get on your claw attack? Uh, my claw attack's 2d8 plus 8. So you're going to roll 4d8 plus 8. Oh my goodness. Oh my Let's goodness. Roll for these little dogs. Two. Two. A uh, 10, a uh, 12, and a uh, 19, plus 8, 27. Uh, 27 damage. So you've taken 13 and 27 damage. That's a total of 40 points of damage. You may want to mark that off of your sheet. I should probably mark it off. I think I had minus 13 before as well. 40 yeah. points? Yes. Ooh. Oh, boy. Total. And then the bite. Go for it. The bite of doom. <laughs> Uh, 10 plus 15 is 25. Oh, no. Mm. Why am I so squishy? You're uh, like, oh, like uh, a, uh, I'm just squishy. So that does, uh, oh. the bite does 26 piercing damage. Okay, so you take 26 points of damage from the bite. I'm resistant <sighs> to piercing. Oh? If it's not magical. Oh, it is magical. Oh. Moloch's weapons. We oh, Moloch. Doesn't that feeble mind you? Well, it's says, <laughs> yeah. Moloch's weapon attacks are magical. I don't know if Moloch's bite. Oh, I don't think magical. his bite's magical. Yes. Weapon. His bite would count as a weapon. Okay. Yes, it would. I was trying to help you there, Sibirix, but Thank you're just you. so tasty. I know. I am. Chomp, chomp. 26 more points of damage. And how is Sibirix feeling right now? How pretty amazing. Pretty yeah. awesome. Pretty yeah. powerful. <laughs> pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. Yeah, pretty beat up, maybe a little bit beat up. No way. No way. Keep it positive. Yeah. You don't, so you don't give in. Think positive. All right, so it's your turn, Sibirix. Do your, do your worst. I am. Well, you're close to me. He's right in your grill. You're right in my grill. Oh. You're right in my face, staring you down. Yeah. Your intelligence is low. Mm. What else was low? Something else was low. It's terrible. Uh, I'm going to well, command you. His charisma. His charisma oh, is terrible. They're the same. You just, oh, command you. Oh. One word. Command you. Okay. 
You got to follow what I say after this. So what do you, what's the word? She <laughs> considers her word very carefully. What, what abilities can you do? Oh, I can do all kinds of stuff. Let's learn, you, friends. You can just take a gander. Oh, breath of despair. That's coming next. <laughs> you can hear Moloch's belly rumbling. Oh. What's this arena like? Is it's there a any big, like ginormous arena. It is relatively flat. Okay. Kind of like a giant room in sand pit. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's uh, from end to end. It is two football fields long, and in the middle, it is one football field wide. Is there uh, like spikes and so two hundred yards by one hundred yards, and there are no <laughs> spikes at the moment. No, but there is a crowd, and the crowd roars, and the crowd is chanting. Moloch, Moloch, no. Moloch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a Moloch. Oh, I should have saved this. Let's see. I want, so there's there's nothing like treacherous? Like not even a pit? Not yet. Not even a pit, huh? Shame. Well, I'm gonna, um, not even like a... Something pokey? <laughs> no. I think po everything's no. round and safety It's scissors. all you. You've got your chains. Oh. You've got your spells. Okay. Well, so I'm part of the abyss. I want, I want Molot to teleport himself somewhere very dangerous. So you're going to tell him teleport? With a command spell? I don't think a command does that. Oh, exactly. really? No. I can't do that? It's a first level spell. The command is, is not that cool. Let's take a look and see Let's what we can do look. with a command spell. I am going to reference command using our handy dandy tools on D&D Beyond. Oh, I love that thing. It's fancy. And let's take a look at the so command spell. So easy to use. <laughs> <laughs> so Here are things you can ask him. You can say approach, drop, flee, grovel, or halt. Oh, okay. So I'm Don't gonna make, make him like grovel. <laughs> I'm gonna make him grovel, and I'm just gonna make him look the most pitiful thing oh, in no. this arena. Okay. Like he's so, and what? his charisma's low. Everything's terrible. Take Moloch where it hurts. So yeah. you, Moloch, you're gonna have to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, and yeah. my wisdom's like really low. Look at your saving one? throw bonuses. Do you have oh, an extra plus, plus eleven for wisdom? Yeah. 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 So go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage. And Moloch gets advantages against spells. Even evil spells like command. <laughs> uh, ooh, yeah. that's oh. 27. So you rebuff the command oh. at this oh, point. Oh, so Grolock oh. comes in and demolishes Cybriax, and Cybriax in attempts to command Moloch to Not bow working. before. <laughs> uh, and the crowd goes wild, Moloch, 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 Moloch. <laughs> Over on one side, there is a snort and splurt of disgust. Um, and the uh -oh. Lord, the Lord Jubliax, <gasps> Jubliax um, spits yes. from where he sits across <laughs> the area. And you must make a dexterity saving throw, oh, Moloch. Yes. Uh, he's got dex plus <laughs> 11. Buddy. Is this a magical effect? Is this a magical effect? Or is a spell? Um, get advantage, but this is not a magical okay. effect. This is just straight this is up. This is Dewey Blexness. This is Dewey yeah. Blex spit. Okay. So you get one dice and one dice only. Oh, that's right. Uh, Dex 11. Uh, 24. Oh. Okay. So you cast 24. You will take half oh. the acid damage as the acid oh. comes down oh, in much? a big mound of... Dewey Blurp comes down onto your head <laughs> and deals uh, half damage, which is 24 points of damage. Oh. Oh. Arg. Moloch's like, no fair. <laughs> 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 and now it is your turn, the Moloch. All right. Uh, oh. Moloch gives a withering stare at Dewey Blex in the audience. And then he... Dewey Black's fist bumps the slime next to him. Oh, uh, yes! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just like slimes. <laughs> and then he's going to breath of despair on the Cibriax. Well, he did it to you. <laughs> <laughs> now it's oh, time no. for the Cibriax to make a saving throw. What kind of saving throw? Tell us about so, it. So, uh, the breath of despair. Moloch exhales a 30-foot cube, mind you. 
Um, each creature in that area must succeed on a DC 21 wisdom saving throw or take a heap of damage. 21. And it's psychic damage. What kind of saving throw is it again? Uh, wisdom. wisdom. So do you have a special wisdom saving throw or a normal wisdom saving throw? I have not a special wisdom saving throw. So roll and use your wisdom modifier. Oh, come on. Go see me. 18. Ooh, is it? 25. Oh, you did it. <laughs> oh so what happens gosh. when she, when, Syria, when the Syriac makes that saving throw? Um, do, 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 do. Oh, it's, it's just a bunch of stuff if you miss it. Uh, on a success, the effect ends. Oh, so nothing happens. <gasps> So you <laughs> breathe your breath of despair, and, like, and the Cibriax, in all of its <laughs> slimy <laughs> gooiness, revels in your despair. Yeah, yeah. Yes. you are just unfazed <laughs> by despair. No, oh, I thought this was going to be it. This is the smell I wake up to in the morning. And all you get is like a, a little slow blurp. And that's it. <laughs> Moloch is like, hmm. At this point, the ground erupts behind you, Moloch, uh -oh. creating a massive crater in the middle of the arena. Of the crater are another dozen wretches. Yes, oh, no. And there is a crater behind you, with which is like this big hole in the ground. Who knows how deep it is? Yeah. There's still one on you, right? Probably. I think there's like so one clear. still. Uh, Once they there bite. is. It's been nibbling on his shoulder the yeah. entire time. Would you like to make an attack with your 13 wretches? Uh, yes, I Go would. Go for it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Remember, each one of them has pack tactics, so they get pack advantage tactics. on their attack rolls. Each of them? So 13 attacks on oh, the wretches. Oh, uh. okay. <laughs> well. Because in the abyss, nobody fights fair. That's right. No, <laughs> This they is don't. why you hate them. This is why they must go down. What's your... Armor class? My armor class is 19. And that's all natural armor, oh. by the way. Oh, you're <laughs> born with it, perhaps. Is it organic? Yeah, it's all good. Six. Feeling good? Do it myself? Well, no. They're Try just kind of fluttering around you. Oh, one hit. Oh. One. I can't remember how many I've done. That was like four. We'll call four. it four. Okay, and I hit one. Five. Miss. Nope. Six. Hit. Hits. Seven. Hit. Hit. Oh. Eight. Hit. Hit. Nine. No. Miss. Oh. Ten. <laughs> no, no. Eleven. Hit. Twelve. Five, six. No. Thirteen. Hit. Oh. So you had like, I'm going to call it six hits in yeah. there. And how much is a... a, a, a 1d10 um, plus one. What? No, but what's, oh. the, uh, what's the average damage it does? How many sets? So 1d10 plus 1, average damage is 6. So 6 times 6 is 36 points of damage. They are. are their attacks considered magical? I wish. No. So you will take 18 points of damage. 18 points? Right. Yes. And then what, do you, what does the, the Super X want to do? Oh, just to let you know, once uh, the wretched bite on you, yeah. they attach onto you. So you have all these little like wretches. <laughs> They're like big giant leeches with, uh, with feet. Right? Imagine a leech with feet. That's a horrifying proposition. And they're just like, you know, uh, karak, 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 karak. And uh, all you can hear is little, like, moist sucking sounds. They're on my natural armor. <laughs> oh, they're everywhere on your uh, natural armor. This is a bad dream Moloch had for a long time. It's come true. <laughs> And don't forget, on the on your when it's when your next turn starts, uh -huh. you take six necrotic damage. Oh, can't resist that. So, you can't resist uh, that. Moloch, uh, you have all the wretches. Well, at least six of them attached okay. to you right now, and it's very awkward. What do you want to do now? Uh, well, first thing Moloch is going to do is he's going to regenerate uh. another hit twenty hit points. Oh, wah, wah. oh my gosh! Um, and then. Uh, he is going to uh, whip and claw and bite the Cibriax because he has been feeble-minded and cannot use all his cool smoke and spells. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, Go for it. All right, so here comes uh, the many-tailed whip. Oh. Uh, does it have many tails to tell? It does. It doesn't. Uh, it does. <laughs> yeah, <too. laughs> uh, 17. 
Does that hit your... Oh, no, it doesn't, No, it does not. Oh, curses. That's my natural armor. <laughs> uh, all right, Claw. 17 will not strike through her pustulance. <laughs> I know. Claw, now what? Right. that. <laughs> Here comes Le Claw. Le Claw. Uh, ooh, that's a 25. Hit. And the bite. Don't bite. Ooh, ooh that's, uh, that's 29. Yeah. All right. You're a little distracted at first, but you come back with two solid hits. How much damage do you do? Uh, Claw does 17 slashing. Oh, my heavens. And the bite does 26 piercing because Moloch's got these wicked fangs. Oh, Moloch, so what's the total? All uh, right. So that would be... Uh, <laughs> Too many. Yeah, 17, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30 more. Uh, uh, 43... Oh. I'm still hanging in there. <laughs> oh, all right. How you doing? How you feeling? Feeling amazing. You feeling amazing? Positive. What you gonna do? I think I'm gonna do all the things. You're right there. <laughs> you're contaminated. You're gooey. You're getting necrotic damage by my little wretcheds, yeah. right? Yes. Take that into account, sir. And yes. Six necro. Six necro. Is it per? Is that is it every round? Of yeah, each of the wretched's turn, yeah. Oh, it's on uh, their turn, not your. Oh, it is their turn. Oh, well, while attached, yeah. the wretched can't attack, and at the start of each of the wretched's turns, the target takes six necrotic damage. So you're going to take thirty-six points of necrotic damage. Oh yes, my god! So much for from healing. the wretches. Those things have to come off me very fast. And <laughs> and the other the other seven can continue their onslaught. They can. Yes. Nibbles. Go for it. Can. Make oh, your attack okay. rolls. Sure. Wow. One. Hit. What was hit? Woof. Hit. hit. Woof. Two. Hit. Hit. No. Miss. 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 Hit. 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 Okay, so one, two, three, four, five more wretches on him. Yes. And uh, they do six points of damage each, so five times six is 30, cut in half, because it's not magical, it's not is 15 magical. points of damage to the Moloch. Little by little. To the How's the Moloch feeling right now? Well, M Moloch, he, he's, a, he's not liking these wretches at all. Yeah, well, he's got 11 wretches attached to him at this point. And I still get to attack. And now you get to attack. Now I will be doing my multi-attack. Oh, I man. can use, uh, let's see, Squirt Bile once and makes three attacks using its chain, bite, or both. And in this case, what? I will do both, sir. Oh Go for it. Yes. Okay. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty. Twenty. To hit. Oh, that hits. Oh, do I need to, so I need to roll for a chain and yep. bite? And then roll for the bite. Okay. I roll for the bite now. Just the chain. The chain. Okay, you how much damage does your chain do? Uh, 20 piercing damage. Is it considered a magic weapon? I don't think so. I think it's just a chain. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty magical. So it does 20? Yeah. So you'll take 10 points of damage. 10 points, all right. And... Would it say uh, if it was magical? It would. You would have mm. an entry on your character sheet, on your monster sheet there, that would say... Magic web That you have magic weapons. No, I'm just... You just pustulous. You just pustulous. Yep. Yeah, you just straight Alrighty. up pus. <laughs> just pus and chains. chains. That's what it's all about. Chains. All right, <laughs> Moloch, what are you going to do? Okay, uh, Moloch doesn't have any uh, uh, spells. That is a problem because <laughs> that, <laughs> that would get uh, all those little critters off him really quick. It would. Um, so what Moloch is going to do here is he's just going to go straight up uh, slugfest. Go for it. Here comes the many-tailed whip, oh which no. mortals That's fear. Right. We're going to play the damage game. It's a race it is. against time and necrosis. Uh, 27? Oh. Hit. Hit. Wait, me or the wretcheds? And the claw? Uh, 21. Ouch. And the bite? Uh, 19. 19. That's, it was drama class. 19 oh, all, natural. Hits. Oh, wow. all natural. All natural. All natural. Nice <laughs> hits. Yeah. Um, so Heads. the mini tailed whip does um, 13 slashing and 11 lightning, but you're, you're resistant I'm to I'm resistant lightning, right? to lightning and slashing from non magical attacks, but oh, I think we that's established magic. And as you're clawing magical. and biting into the Cerberus, it's kind of like the anti MM. It's a mess everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's, it's like eating a jelly donut that just yeah. goes. 
It's yeah, in your that's ears. Been overstuffed. Ah. So, so yeah, this this is all magical damage. So it's uh, uh, thirteen eleven. So that's twenty four plus uh, forty three. So oh, uh, how are you doing Sixty seven points some math of Moloch. Sixty seven. So the onslaught from Moloch lashes into Cibriex, and Cibriex is not doing well at all. Well, Cibriex is on the ropes. <laughs> how, uh, how many hit points do you have left, Cibriex? Tell the audience. It's going to take a little while. Hold on. i got to add up all of these. While we're at it, <laughs> Moloch, why don't you figure out how much hit points you have left? Uh, Moloch, well, let's see. He has taken 83 points to this date, and he's got 253 hit points. So, so Moloch is a sitting at 170 hit points. 170 hit points. Pretty. He's hanging in there. 149 hit points. Left? Yes. Okay, so it's the beginning oh. of your turn. I was buffed up, yeah. At the beginning of your turn, how much necrotic damage do each one of your wretches do? They do six necrotic damage. So you are going to take 66 points of damage. Oh my god. Necrotic. It's just eating from away the wretches at you. As they sit there oh and all god. you hear is little Moist, warm, <laughs> slurping sounds <laughs> as they're like nibbling into you little by little and drilling into your all natural skin. Uh. It's gonna take more than a bottle of Jorgens to fix that. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, Moloch's like, ah, oh, can I moisturize all this away? <laughs> He's going to leave like little welts, too. It's going to be uh -huh. like a cupping session or something. Oh. You have two, two little uh, wretches that haven't hit yet. Go yeah. ahead and roll for them. Yeah. They have advantage. <gasps> they do. Oh. That's a crit. Oh. And what about the other oh, one? Oh, he buries into your nostril. Oh. Oh, it's another crit. Oh, oh. Right. Yes. <laughs> Dueling crits. Oh, okay. he's little tiny. <laughs> so uh, roll 2d10 so plus how much is this? Eight? 1d10 plus? Uh, 1d10 plus what? So roll. 4d10 oh, plus 2. I'm going to do 2 first. <laughs> As the wretches attack Moloch. Oh, 15. 24. Ooh. And 25, 26. You'll take 13 points of wretches damage, and you have 13 wretches attached to you all over your body. Oh, that's not good. Oh my god, they're everywhere. You're a wretched corn. Right? <laughs> 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 One right out of his forehead. Yeah. yeah. One's like right on your forehead, and his little legs are just kind of like the Doing this, Wiggling. right? Well, like, like, yeah, get away from between my horns. <laughs> and what is Cibriex going to do? Cibriex is going to do, you know what? I'm going to try, I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try flesh warping on you since he's uh, right here okay. next to me. Make the saving throw. Make the saving throw. Oh, yeah. Well, like has constitution advantage. saving throw. Mm -hmm. Uh... Oh. Wow, wow. Crits on this side, Darn crits it. on this side. Darn it. Moloch is fine. Moloch, do your worst. Oh, <laughs> well, on a failed save, the target is poisoned. He cannot be poisoned. He Moloch is like Moloch. poison from oh. dinner. Oh. Never mind. Like chug, chug, the poison. It was a good frat thing. Moloch, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> college. Yeah. Chug poison. Um, all right, Moloch, first thing he's going to do is he's going to regenerate 20 points of freaking damage. <laughs> and now, with a bellow of rage, he is going to uh, do three attacks. And here we go. Boof. Uh, 25. Oh. 25 will hit. Ouch. Yeah, here comes How the do claw. I weaken that? Oh, uh, no. Lot, That's going to hit. And the bite. Uh, the 22. That's it. Oh my All gosh. Right. For another, how much damage did you do last time? For another, Enough. So that's 24, so 67. 67 points of damage. Oh. Subtract that oh. from the thing, old Cibriax. Oh. And now, we're coming in to the, to the tail end of the round here, as uh, Cibriax goes for her final attack. Do I? <laughs> well, I mean, I don't really win by using different means, but... First of all, <laughs> you have 13, counting 13 oh, wretches attached 13 to you. Oh, that's true. 13 wretches. 13 times 6, um, carry the 1, um, doing some math, 
is 78 uh, points of necrotic damage. Wow. As Moloch is retched out. And again, it's just a little chorus of... Moloch has been hit for 200 points of damage. He is down to 53 hit points. Okay, Ooh. Super X, what are you going to do now? I'm down to 72. Oh, oh but... Okay, so... So, I mean, he's not so smart right now. He's down no. to one. You know, I'm extremely charismatic. Is there is there a way I can I can roll to convince him? Convince him what? To give into the flesh warping. Uh, that's well, my. That's, that's my. That's part of his. Like he's he's just a, he's immune to the poison bodily. So there's not a lot oh. you can do there. He can't really willingly take the damage. No, so. it's not damage. It's to change. Oh to well, morph. That probably is not. Again, ow. that's part of the body. Really hard to flesh warp a devil, particularly an arch devil. <laughs> I who's suppose all man so. Covered in wastrels. Demons directions. now. I can do that to demons. Yes, demons all over. <laughs> demons oh, are yeah. creatures of chaos and. Yeah. They're easy to warp. Well, then I'm just gonna attack you. All right, go for it. <laughs> okay, multi attack, chains. squirt bile, three attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Squirting bile. Oh yes. my lord. Yes, you. Oh, you must succeed on a dexterity twenty saving throw. Okay, or get hit by the bile. Or get hit by the bile. Okay. Uh, and make three atta attacks. Not with the bile. You only make three attacks if you're using the. Uh, and makes three attacks. Squirt bile and makes three attacks. Oh, so you get to squirt bile once yeah. and then make three attacks with your chain and bite attack. Yeah. Yeah. Holy smokes. So first you roll against the bile. All right, so the bile. Can he dodge? Uh, no. Uh, let's see. Uh, 12, 13. What does 20. bile do? No. Oh, bile. Let me tell you. Um, you take 35 acid damage. Ah! Ow! It's going into all the wounds or Does the Does Moloch have any special resistance to acid? Uh, let's see. Uh, immunities, fire, poison. Condition immunities, charged, charmed exhaustion, frightened, or poison. Uh, no resistance. No there. resistance to 35 acid. 35 damage to Moloch. Oh, It's in man. his wounds. And then, chain him. Chain him. Uh, let's see, 21? Uh, that hits? Yes. Bite you? Oh, even better. Oh. Plus all that. And one more attack? And one Is more it a attack? chain or a bite? I'm gonna go and bite you. Oh, oh, oh that's kind of... Oh, a little, little it's a nip. A little nip. A little, a little nip. nip. So how much yeah. does one chain and one bite do? Let me tell you. So one chain is 20 piercing damage. You take oh. 10. And then a bite is 9 piercing damage plus 9 acid damage. So, so put that's going to be 9 and 4 is 13 points of damage. 13. So 23 total. 23, 23 total. Yeah. Eight. Uh, so many numbers. That comes to death for Moloch. Moloch falls oh. to the Simeon's oh, oh, wretches. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The stag lies <laughs> Uh, what is your team called again? Stank Lords! The Stank Lords! The Stank Lords win! Oh no! Join the Stank Lords! <laughs> oh, <Moloch>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, folks! Okay, Moloch, we, we bring you back up and when I ask you, how do you think that fight went, buddy? Uh, <laughs> it was all going great until I had all these little suckers stuck on me. <laughs> and that really sucked. And then Jewelix cheap shot at me from the seats. Uh, but hey, you gotta hand it to the Super X. Uh, mm -hmm. That bile spray is pretty wicked. Yeah. And that's true. you know, I'm, I'm all down with the chains. Yeah. Yes. You know. Yeah. All right. How do you feel now, Super X? That you beat Moloch, the Arch Devil. From well, I mean, we're pretty confident from the get-go, and we held on to that confidence, <laughs> positivity. I think it's all about staying in a right mind, and we welcome <laughs> Moloch into the Super X family, so we may change him and form him and flesh make him warp. one of us with our flesh warping. Yes, yes. <laughs> One of you. Uh, my wife's like pulling off all these little jerks. <laughs> you love them. You come to love them. So I'll, I'll jump on with the, just a few comments as well. First of all, uh, thank thank everyone for participating thank today. Kay. Thank you to our competitors, Emmy Tanji and Adam <laughs> Lee, and our dungeon master, Chris mm -hmm. Lindsay, for uh, playing through the first round of Morning Canaan's Mayhem. Uh, as, as mentioned, we were previewing, in a way, two creatures from Morning Canaan's Tome of Foes, uh, obviously Moloch and Sibriax. 
We were a little fast and loose with the rules. Uh, we had a, a challenge rating 21 and a challenge rating 18. So uh, we did modify the statistics a little bit. We did remove legendary actions. Moloch, uh, we did remove his re legendary resistance, which might have helped a little bit. <laughs> no. We would have certainly resisted the... Uh, the uh, the feeble mind at the very least. Yes, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not used to that feeble mind stuff. So, yeah. uh, so uh, still, even with the streamlined versions, these were, were pretty complex creatures to to fight and to run. So uh, again, thanks for uh, for taking part. Well in, done, in this. guys. Uh, for folks watching, again, uh, this this was more or less uh, your first uh, look at a couple of the creatures in Mordenkainen's. We will look to excerpt a couple of the official final stat blocks uh, when when we have uh, various opportunities in the weeks ahead. Uh, in the meantime, you can look for the next battle to take place uh, Monday, next Monday, again at 4 p.m. Pacific. Uh, we're not announcing yet the full slate of the creatures uh, as part of the previewing process. We want to keep those a little bit close to the vest, although we will announce the players themselves later in the week. So, uh, But for now, Emi Tanji will be moving on to a competitor to be named later. Oh. <laughs> Good luck, Sirius. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll also look to uh, create a, a cut down video, uh, maybe a, a shortened 20, 25 minute video that we'll have up in the coming days for folks that might want to uh, watch the fight again or as uh, just a shareable. Uh, video for folks that weren't able to to watch this, and we'll we'll cut out my ramblings here at the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we like your ramblings. <laughs> it's a radio voice. But in any case, thanks for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the first round of Morning Canaan's Mayhem. There is more to come every Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific. So tune in again next week. Chris Lindsay will be returning as our dungeon master with mm -hmm. two new competitors, two new creatures that will be taking part in our, our head-to-head -head competition. So, uh, yes, we were checking the chat the whole way. We were hopefully addressed uh, as many questions as we possibly could. We were trying to keep a little straw poll on, on the favorites. Uh, I would say it was a little even for Moloch and Sibriex, but the Wretched were the ones that were getting, uh, I think, stealing the, the show. <laughs> See, they were stealing the show. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. They're the best. <laughs> They're useful and delicious. As somebody asked if uh, Sibriex had lost, but the Wretched had taken down Moloch, we would have advanced the Wretched uh, on their own. You should have had their own. Hey, sometimes the 16 takes down the number one seed, as Ooh. we've seen uh, this yeah. year. Yeah. In a completely separate event that has nothing to do with what we're doing. I That's don't true. Even know. I like yeah. dogs. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> I don't even know. All right. <laughs> and uh, of course, thanks to Pelham as well for running uh, the production side of it, throwing up all of the graphics. Yeah, yeah. 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 Getting the air horn. He's our man on the soundboard. <laughs> uh, so thanks, everyone. This was great fun, and we'll do it again next Monday. Woohoo! And we're out. Woohoo! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah.